from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In My House, hosted by T. Harlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. When he need a friend, Houdini's dead. Side to side, like they just, just, just don't care. And if you got a friend, you need a friend, or you want a friend, I want everybody to sing along with who's in it. On the one and the two and the three. I need a friend. I do, 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 do. Time and use it in the wrong way. Now you can look the way up again and again. But the dictionary doesn't know about being a friend. If you ask me, you be much help us. a friend, somebody can judge for yourself. I mean, some are okay and they treat you real cool. Yeah. Some are thinking kind of for being a fool. We like to be with somebody because they're funny. Others come around when they need some money. Some you grew up with around the way. It could still be a fuck of this very day. Oh boy! Spring and fall. Then the summer, which we never knew at all. This thing goes on oh. again and again. But these are the people that we call friends. From uptown, Brooklyn Bell. My little brother, Dr. Ice, and the sick patient, the busy ice. It's on you, Dice. One, two, one, two. One, two, my partner's name is the rapper Charlie. When we were first out together, we barely knew each other. Ever. We had no intentions on becoming lovers. But in no time at all, you became my girl. Me, Me and you, one on one, against the world. We were talking on the telephone for hours at a time, and else I was at show out. You was at mine. And then we came to arguments and all kinds of problems. But besides, back in love, we had nothing in common. It could have lasted long, but it started out strong. But I guess we want about the whole thing. Cause out of nowhere it came to an end Because we became lovers before we were b -b 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 friends If you know the words to the song, feel free to say what we need East Coast friends, West Coast, they don't make no difference We're gonna all get down I see I'm gonna say it is a pleasure to be down with Rap Daily With all the legends of rap music And we're gonna do this on just for y'all feeling tonight And remember, before we go any further Let's be friends So tight, took her out with you and your dad one night. She even had a set of keys to your phone, and you shared most of everything you own. And as she shook your hand, she stole your man. And it was done so sweet, it had to be a plan. Couldn't trust her with cheese. Let alone your keys. Huh. With friends like these, you don't need enemies, huh? Don't wonder how long it was all going on, and you're still not sure if your glad is gone. You say, well, if she took him, he was never mine. But deep inside, you know that's just another lie. And now you're kind of cold to the people you meet. Plus, it's something that was gone to you by some creep. But nevertheless, we'll say it again That Houdini and Apollo will always, always be friends Friends, Long ladies enough, and y'all How many of us have been? You gotta have a friend I gotta pass by that black Before we go any further Let's be friends You are In My House Hosted by T. Carlita Where the true stories are told And great music is played Welcome to another episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I am your host, T. Carlita. And this week, we are still COVID compliant and we are staying home and staying safe. And I hope you are staying safe if you have to leave the house. Mask up, people. Mask up. This COVID is serious and it is taking people out. So please, please, please do what you got to do so that you can stay safe but this week we are reaching in the archives and we're just going through some of the fan favorite segments throughout the years of the show and we are going to hear the segments that we call for those who know that is narrated by 
our show historian, Mr. Stevie Anderson, over there in the UK. I hope you are doing well over there, Mr. Stevie Anderson. And I thank you so much for supporting the show. And I thank you so much for the love that you have given and shared with me over these years. So this week we are reaching in the archives and I hope you enjoy this week's episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. And now for those who know. You are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Hi everyone, this is Stevie Anderson from the UK, welcoming you to this month's For Those Who Know, featuring Anthony Shakir, courtesy of T. Carlita's In My House Techno Show, Inc. 
Detroit techno is more than just stylized dance music. It is a progressive movement led by visionary artists who are consciously extending their musical boundaries with their transcendent compositions. And one of the finest exponents of this concept is Detroit techno legend Anthony Sheikh Shakir. The dawn of this new music concept took place at Techno Boulevard in a building where Metroplex, KMS and Transmat based their operations. It began here also for Anthony Shakir, who was present while the sonic blueprints were being recorded. He briefly worked as a r scout for Metroplex and a sound engineer on several tracks. It was not until 1988 when Virgin Records released the groundbreaking compilation called Techno, the New Dance Sound of Detroit that eventually featured a track by Shakir called Sequence 10. Though other tracks on the compilation by his more illustrious peers at that time attracted more attention, the sheer brilliance of this melodic track served as a stylish introduction to Shakir's artistry. His perseverance and growing belief in the music he was producing was beginning to bring more recognition and offers to mix and remix tracks for other artists and record labels. Shakir was instrumental in convincing Derek May to sign Octave One's debut track, I Believe, to the Transmat label. The track featuring Lisa Newberry on vocals and co-written and co-produced by Shakir had previously appeared on the follow-up compilation Techno 2, The Next Generation on Virgin Records in 1990. During the early 1990s, as Europe's appetite for Detroit techno grew, Many of Detroit's leading names were invited to travel overseas to perform for a growing legion of fans. Anthony Shakir remained home and mentored the next wave of techno producers such as Carl Craig, Jay Denham, Strand and Claude Young. With the release of his stunning 4-track EP for Metroplex in 1994, Shakir's reputation in Europe was growing and they were now discovering what many in Detroit already knew, that Shakir was a man on a mission for creating illuminating and intricate hybrid dance music. He also displayed a capability for writing songs, as he did for one Atkins house music project called Visions. The first one was Is It Real? and a follow-up was called Coming Home, both released on Flying Records. After submitting more mixes for other artists and an EP done for Brett Dancer's track mode label, Shakir decided it was time to provide an outlet for his own material and with Claude Young set up a label called Frictional Recordings. Frictional is now highly regarded as one of Detroit Techno's premier labels. Due solely to Shakir's mesmerizing blend of house, funk, hip-hop and jazz soundscapes. To emphasize the importance and the esteem in which Shakir's music is held, Rush Hour Records from the Netherlands put out a compilation of Shakir's best work simply titled Frictionalism 1994-2009. Detroit has a long-standing tradition of dance music producers collaborating and in keeping of that fine tradition Kyle Hoare approached Anthony Shakir about remastering tracks Shakir had produced back in 1997 called M3 Sessions. This meeting of minds from different generations and a mutual respect for each other's work culminated with the release of West Side Sessions on Kyle Hall's label Wild Oats in 2012. Anthony Shakir's contribution to Detroit Techno is immense. He has recorded for some of dance music's best known record labels in Detroit and internationally. He has worked alongside some of Techno's greatest talents and helped jumpstart the careers of some through his experience acquired over many years in the business. The hallmark of his eclectic output is the very epitome of techno. His willingness to keep making music and DJing despite his affliction with multiple sclerosis is a testament to his fortitude. The great jazz impresario Duke Ellington once said, Create and be true to yourself and depend only on your own good taste. Anthony Shakir's wonderful music reflects that philosophy and for that we will always appreciate him. That's all from me until next time. Thank you all for watching and supporting the show and my special thanks goes to T Carlita for her guidance. This is Stevie Anderson from the UK wishing you all peace in the spirit of 313. You are in my house, hosted by T Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played.
and Spy House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. I'm Wayne County Treasurer Eric Sabri, encouraging all taxpayers to please take advantage of the several payment options available. If you have to visit our office in person, you must make an appointment by going to treasurer.waynecounty.com. It only takes a few minutes. Facial covering or mask is required and social distancing is observed. You can also email our office at taxinfo at waynecounty.com or call us at 313-224-5990.
Hi everyone, this is Stevie Anderson from the UK, bringing to you this month for those who know, featuring Delano Smith, courtesy of T. Carlitas In My House Techno Music Show Incorporated. Detroit has blessed us with a genre founded by originators, innovators and elevators of DJing and producers of music that has been Detroit's gift to the dance music world, known as techno. It would be wrong, however, to regard Detroit only synonymously with techno, as its dance music roots go back to the disco era of the 1970s. Delano Smith, a legendary figure who can actually bear witness to the inception of Detroit's early dance music scene, began his music journey in that era. In 1977, Delano Smith as a teenager went to a party organized by a high school social club called Pierre La France. They were well known on the high school party circuit, and for this particular party, hired a DJ who would change Delano Smith's life. The DJ was the great Ken Collier, whose DJing skills had a profound effect on the impressionable teenager. Never before had he seen a DJ stand behind turntables and mix records so flawlessly, hence not long after, Delano actively pursued his desire to be a DJ. In Detroit, it was common for high school students to form their own social clubs and organize parties. Delano Smith was a member of two high school social clubs, Courtier and The Next Phase. He was also part of a DJ collective called Soundwave, who would occasionally hire Ken Collier to DJ at their parties. Their popularity earned them DJing gigs from rival high school social clubs across Detroit. But it was the after-hours parties that ensured the paths of Delano Smith and Ken Collier would meet again. In 1981, at the age of 18, Delano Smith gained his first club residency at Luomo, one of Detroit's most popular night spots, which saw Delano DJ until Collier would take over to close out the night. Under the stewardship of Collier and his young protégé, the Luomo parties were a key force for electronic dance music, that was known as progressive in Detroit, and in Chicago, the same evolution was taking place and later became universally known as house music. It was at this point Delano Smith grew tired and frustrated with the dance music scene's lack of camaraderie that he decided to retire in 1985, just as Chicago house music was in its infancy. He decided to move out of Detroit and further his studies and gain employment. On one occasion, when he returned to Detroit to visit an old school friend, he was invited to mix records on his friend's DJ equipment and quickly rediscovered his passion for DJing again. His return to the dance music scene was greeted with delight from all over Detroit, but his first DJ gig did not go so well. Delano realized that dance music had moved forward. There was less disco being played, and more of Chicago house music and Detroit techno being the music of choice for DJs and partygoers. Befriending Mike Huckabee and Norm Talley and seeing them DJ was a turning point for Delano to get back in touch with the current groove. Huckabee and Talley were two of the mainstays of Detroit's underground house music scene who were instrumental in helping Delano fashion a modern approach to DJing in terms of style and music selection. They proved to be important encounters as Delano gradually worked his way back into the groove to become a mainstay of the scene himself. Delano had noticed that some DJs were trying their hand at producing music. It was a move many DJs hoped would bring recognition and bookings overseas to increase their earnings capacity. Delano eventually followed the trend and began working on tracks after joining Norm Talley and Mike Clark in a DJ collective espousing the concept they called Detroit Beatdown. Beatdown was more about the DJ's freedom to mix a spectrum of dance music during a set rather than being a new music form. Tours to Europe and Japan followed, plus the release of the Detroit Beatdown compilation on the third year recordings label featured an early offering from Delano Smith called Metropolis in 2002. In 2003, he set up his own label, Mix Mode Recordings, a label that would showcase Delano Smith's Deep House style. After successful releases for Still Music and Third Year Recordings earned him more plaudits and DJ bookings in Europe, he met Yossi Amayal, CEO of Sushi Tech Records in Berlin, who convinced Delano he could produce techno music, fused with his love for Deep House. 
The transformation worked, and two highly acclaimed albums was the result, an Odyssey released in 2012 and Twilight in 2014, elevated Delano Smith's status as a producer of the highest order. Delano Smith's influential career is a bridge to Detroit's dance music past, present and future. His contribution is immeasurable and dwarfs those of his peers, yet this genial and humble man is not unwilling to receive advice or reinvent himself to maintain his high standards. To this day, the late Ken Collier is still regarded as the godfather of Detroit house music. If anybody has come close to carrying that mantle of the modern dance era, it is Delano Smith. That's all from me until next time. My thanks to all of you who tune in and support the show, and my special thanks to T. Carlita for her encouragement and guidance. May peace be with you all in the spirit of 313. Deep House Groove. Deep house groove. Message for the DJ. I'm a house hair forever. I'm a house hair forever. I'm a house head forever. I'm a house head forever. Message for the DJ. I'm a house head forever. Message for the DJ. I'm a house head forever, at least until I die. You can't move me without it, so don't you even try. House head forever. I need a deep house groove. I tap my toes to that other shit, but house really makes me move. Some people need hip hop, and R&B's okay. But a funky laid back sweet house track takes my mind away. So here's a message for the DJ that's in the club tonight. Play a sexy, deep, hot house track so I can move my body right. Move my body right. Move my body right. Move my body right. I want to close my eyes and feel it in my bones. So throw that heli bumping shit, house puts me in a zone. I want to elevate my mind, set my body free, lose the stresses of the day, and feel the energy. So listen, Mr. DJ, send me on that high, cause I'm a house head forever, at least until I die. Without it, you can't move me, so don't you even try. I'm a house head forever, at least until I die. Move my body right. Move my body right. Move my body right. I'm a house head forever, at least until I die. Message for the DJ. Move my body right. I'm a house head forever. Move my body right. Move my body right. I'm a house head forever, move my body right. Message for the DJ. I'm a house head forever. Deep house crew. Deep house crew. Deep house crew. I'm a house head forever. Deep house groove. 
stories are told and great from music Detroit, is played. From Detroit, 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 from Detroit. Oh. 
are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. And now it's time for some techno and house music history 101, or as we call it, For Those Who Know, by Stevie Anderson, show historian from the UK for the In My House Techno Music Show Incorporated. Hey everyone, it's Stevie Anderson from the UK and welcome to this month's For Those Who Know featuring Keith Tucker, courtesy of T. Carlita's In My House Techno Music Show Incorporated. For much of the latter part of the last century and up to the present day, Detroit has cultivated a rich heritage of modern black music that has arguably made Detroit the electronic music capital of the world. One of the many contributors to Detroit's preeminence within the dance music world is Keith Tucker, a true techno legend, and also one of the most intriguing and charismatic producers to emerge from the east side of Detroit. The moment Keith Tucker as a young boy saw the legendary hip-hop DJ DJ Red Alert displaying his turntable skills in Queens, New York, left a deep impression on him. Tucker was still in high school when he decided to learn the art form of hip-hop DJing. His skills soon progressed to the role of the DJ supporting breakdancers and rappers at local talent shows in Detroit. During his grammar school years, Tucker studied classical music and developed a liking for the theory and the composition behind the music. He also loved the atmospheric music of science fiction movies and would try to compose his own music after he bought the necessary equipment to do so. He put himself through college to study technical illustration computer graphics and mechanical engineering. As a direct consequence of this, Tucker was able to implement these principles into becoming a techno pioneer and a renowned artist. Like many of his peer group, Tucker was captivated by the music the Electrify Mojo was playing on the radio. It inspired him to expand his repertoire as a mobile DJ, spinning a mixture of electro, funk and early progressive music. In 1985, Tucker met Tommy Hamilton and Anthony Horton, who were members of a local R&B group called Regime. Tucker discovered that they too were fans of Mojo, and proposed they should get together to form a band to play electronic music. They agreed and named themselves RX7. The band played at various events across Detroit, and thrilled many people with their energetic performances covering well-known tracks by Cybertron, Kraftwerk and early Detroit techno, as well as their own material. RX7 were a success, but their existence as a band soon dissolved, as Tucker, Hamilton and Horton wanted to pursue their own aspirations. RX7 can be viewed as the prototype for today's Detroit techno artists who also want to perform as live acts. Cybertron is a profound influence on Keith Tucker and numerous others, and figures prominently in the evolution of techno. As fate would have it, Tucker signed for One Atkins Metroplex record label in 1990, and recorded a free track EP under the name of Frequency. Tucker and Jesse Anderson co-wrote the tracks, while One Atkins provided the production and mixdown expertise. The Frequency EP showcased Tucker's admiration for Cybertron, Model 500 and Kraftwerk, combined with that East Side of Detroit vibe. It was a very impressive debut release, which was well received, and added to Tucker's belief that his brand of techno would succeed. was working on his next release for Metroplex when his friend and former RX member Tommy Hamilton paid him a visit. The two discussed and revisited an idea they had during their time as RX7, so they agreed to team up again and call themselves Orcs 88. 
the pair utilized their music influences and experiences to produce an exciting futuristic sound that was later termed techno bass. AUX88 signed for Octave One's direct beat label, but didn't release anything until after another project Tucker and Hamilton were working on, a house music group they called Sight Beyond Sight, featuring the return of former RX7 member Anthony Horton, vocalist Andrea Gilmore and Keith Tucker and Tommy Hamilton. They also signed to Octave One's 430 West label and released their debut track Good Stuff in 1992. A year later, AUX88 finally launched their debut 12-inch single, Technology. And the follow-up double EP classic, Bass Magnetic, under the direct beat label. Keith Tucker was riding on the crest of that electronic wave, and his relentless pursuit of looking for that perfect techno beat diverged into other recording projects such as Alien FM, Optic Nerve and DJ K1. Tucker's advancement of techno was not, had not gone unnoticed by Juan Atkins. In October of 1995, Atkins invited Tucker, along with Tommy Hamilton and Mike Banks, to perform alongside him as Model 500 to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Metroplex Records. The historic live performance took place at Detroit's Cement Space Gallery. Two months later, Tucker was invited, along with Ken Collier and Lawrence Burden, to DJ at Europe's largest techno festival called May Day in Frankfurt, Germany. Over 28,000 people witnessed Keith Tucker skillfully deliver a stunning set of new and old school electro music to the delight of techno fans. In 1996, he co-founded Puzzle Box Records with Anthony Shakir and introduced another alias, KT-19941. His performances at Detroit's Electronic Music Festival are now legendary. He is also an inductee at the Detroit Gift to the World Techno Exhibition. Only a few can rival Keith Tucker's artistic development across hip-hop, house music, techno and electro. He is a visionary and a prolific artist of monumental consistency with a predilection for producing sublime music. The K1 Agenda continues. That's it from me until next time. My special thanks always to T. Carlita and to all of you who support the show. I wish you peace in the spirit of 313.
County Treasurer Eric Sabri, encouraging all taxpayers to please take advantage of the several payment options available. You can pay online by visiting the Wayne County Treasurer's Office website. Paying online is easy and convenient. You can also download the mobile app and pay with your smartphone. You can pay at one of 70 kiosks located throughout Wayne County. And yes, you can always still send in your payments using the U.S. Postal Service. If you have to visit our office in person, you must make an appointment by going to treasurer.waynecounty.com. It only takes a few minutes. Facial covering or mask is required and social distancing is observed. 
Your health and safety is very important to us. You can also email our office at taxinfo at waynecounty.com or call us at 313-224-5990. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I am your host, T. Carlita, and we are winding down this year of 2020. I just want you all to continue to stay safe, mask up, and take care of yourself. Stay home, stay safe. If you got to go out, wear your mask.